welcome to our first installment looking at History 202 for Winter 2021, our syllabus. Uh, this will be a little longer than I usually put out, but I want to make sure that uh, we're all on the same page as we go forward. So again, this is History of the United States from the Reconstruction to the Present. We will work our way up to eventually COVID-19 and uh, the end of the Trump era. Uh, and uh, before we get into that, though, just understand that uh, this is completely online, completely remote, as all classes are currently. But uh, if you need to get a hold of me, I recommend email is the best opportunity to do that. I'm remote, so I'm never like in an office at Muskegon. So um, I usually do my best to get a hold of you guys or at least respond back within 12 hours. Uh, you know, I have about five jobs, so I stay very busy. So don't be offended if I don't get to you right away. Uh, give me some time. Um, after that, you can put my face on a milk carton. So you can read through the course description if you want. The course objectives, pretty standard, learning about American history. So remember, this is an asynchronous class. This is going to be, we're not really meeting directly at the same time. So there will be due dates for everything, but it's not like I'm going to have lectures that you have to attend via Zoom or anything. So. I always like to start with uh, the disclaimer for this class, and I'll read it to you. The views expressed in the reading assignments and video lectures do not necessarily reflect the views of the instructor or the school. History is not monolithic. It is told through countless eyes with countless opinions. So keep that in mind as you take this class. You're going to read stuff that's going to make you uncomfortable, things that you're going to read that you don't agree with, and we're going to have to just deal with that. Um, they may not be things that I agree with. But that's part of history is there's so many different lenses that we're going to be looking at. So um, be prepared to uh, maybe be in uncomfortable situations as far as uh, learning things. So you've got uh, required reading is going to be Carnes and Garrity, American Destiny, Narrative of a Nation. And that's going to be volume two. Uh, there's a version where it's uh, going to have both volume one and two together. You can have that book as well, too. Uh, we'll be. You're looking at that, but also we have a lot of other just reading assignments that you'll have and also um, short articles. Um, I On the syllabus, I have it listed as the Lancaster Reader. I'll upload that to PDF with all the uh, uh, of eventual articles and uh, short readings I want you to read. But I'll also be putting them directly into the learning module. So you just click on the learning module and the little section will be there for you. So here's the grade breakdown for you. Obviously, attendance and participation, um, not really an option here. Uh, it's pretty equal across the board. Quizzes, online discussion forums, midterms, and the final thesis or pro and project and the final exam all total to 1,000 points. You can read through the grade there. Uh, quizzes are pretty self-explanatory. They'll be every couple weeks, and I'll announce it so you'll know when it is, and it'll be over the readings for whatever weeks that we've gone through, usually about three weeks of um, lectures. So uh, there's a discussion board and the uh, midterm and final exams. I will go through those in subsequent videos, uh, especially the discussion post. I'll be a little more detailed with that, but those are going to be really uh, the bread and butter of this class is going to be the discussion post. So be prepared to do those weekly. Um, the midterm final exam is uh, going to be short answer for the midterms, and we'll do a little video on that, and I'll explain what I'm looking for for those individually as well too, and then longer answers for the, the final exam, but it'll be essays. The final project is a video project, and I'll do a video on that so um, you'll have an idea of what, an inkling for what we want, what we're look, working with, so be uh, looking out for that this week. All questions will be answered, hopefully. And if not, you can always reach out and email me. So uh, it kind of breaks down the important dates of stuff as far as this semester. Kind of see where things are at. And then we get right into the meat and uh, about when things are due. You'll see that uh, obviously week one here I talked about already in the initial video. You've got the readings. You have the reconstruction and you have uh, the forum and uh, one and two that you can go through and answer those questions. And you can go through the entire semester and see what's available. There might be some changes, you know, as we've learned with um, COVID is that there's going to be always changes here. Um, and we just have to roll the punches. So that's the syllabus. Uh, let me just bring you over here. This is going to be uh, my version of 
um, Blackboard. We'll go over to yours so you can kind of see what you got going here. So entering student mode here. This is what you're seeing. Right now, you just go to the Start Here tab. You get everything that you'll need to know, uh, one being for quizzes and final exam and midterm. You'll have the Respondents Lockdown Browser. You can click on that. Syllabus is here uh, and all the subsequent um, little articles. We'll go through and then the link to the learning module. So that's all available on the first one. Uh, instructor info is here. Announcements. Uh, I'll be making those you know, in the first week almost daily, and then we'll kind of go to a couple of week just to kind of keep you engaged. And then uh, discussion questions are here. So the first one at the top here is ask me anything. If you have a question, you feel like it might be something that would benefit other people, they might want to know, feel free to ask in here and I'll answer in here. If it was something more private, then you can always reach out to me individually and I'll answer that the best I can. So you have the quizzes and assignments over here. Uh, they're not available right now. They will be, uh, as soon as we get through the semester, they'll unlock and you'll be able to take those. So if you need to turn in an assignment, it'll be here. Uh, tests and quizzes will be here as well. Uh, here's a little content button down here below that. It'll bring you to everything uh, for the reading assignments. So, for example, if you have the book or you're having trouble reading with the book, you can click right here and it'll bring you actually to the first week's uh, PowerPoint project. So you can actually go through, and this is uh, one that was I inherited, so it's not great, but uh, you can go through, and it'll kind of break down the chapter for you. And at the end here, uh, there's a little spoiler for you here, or uh, I shouldn't say spoiler, but hack for you, milestones, and there's some vocabulary stuff that you can read through, and it'll kind of give you a good gist of the chapter. So I have one for each of the uh, at least for the first initial couple of weeks, you can go through and read them, as well as links to the films they want you to read and anything or watch anything else. So, uh, lastly, the learning module section. Uh, you'll come here. This is week one. It'll bring you to the first page. You can kind of see what you're working with here. This will be for week one, the reconstruction, and I have everything broken down for you. Here's a little reading for you. Here's that PowerPoint again. I'm double dipping so that you have access from different directions. Um, you know, for some reason, uh, you feel more comfortable reading off the website. That's fine. Versus uh, a blackboard. So the, the film is here too. And it also kind of just has the discussion board questions here as well. Uh, make sure though you read this, that all the discussion board questions are going to be answered on blackboard. You're not going to be able to do that from here. So. Uh, that is pretty much it. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything the, that I need to know about, let me know. Uh, otherwise, uh, we will see you in uh, the next video.